All right. So hello, YouTube. And hello, Twitch. We've already been saying hello and talking for a little while, of course. But um, I wanted to do this video slash stream combo thing at the same time. Mostly because I wanted to talk about some comments I've been receiving lately about my Apex content on YouTube. And then my... Um, as well, I wanted to talk about kind of my thoughts on just like Apex Legends as a game and uh, my content between both YouTube and Twitch. Um, so there, it's this is going to be an unscripted. I just wanted to kind of have a little chat for a little while. Um, if there's any chat comments that I get while we're doing this, um, I will read them out and we can... Um, we can react to them and add them to the discussion. Uh, so basically what I wanted to get to is that I got a comment on a video today, um, which I think was a very good comment. Um, and I wanted to basically read this out. And this is like an essence of a comment that I get fairly regularly for the last couple of months now. Um, so someone commented, Frothy, I notice you don't post Apex content unless it's sponsored. Well, I don't mean to imply that you should only post footage for the love of the game. That's silly. YouTube is a job. Are you mostly just cooled on Apex these days? I really enjoy your Apex content and wish there was more of it. So, the essence of this comment and a lot of other ones is that... Um, hang on a second. Second time go. I'm sorry, I just got distracted by the red ping in my chat. You mentioned that I burned bridges a while back here to expand i don't know what you what you're referring to if you can give me some more context i'm happy to maybe talk about that a little bit later on um so the essence of a lot of these comments on youtube that i've been getting are, are basically that um we've noticed that almost every apex video you've done for the last couple of months has only been sponsored and you've done very few videos other than that that have not been sponsored and why is that um so this is kind of a more broad thing that i've been wanting to um to address a little bit more formally and the, ma the basic idea here is that, look, I work full-time. I, I work a full-time job, oftentimes more than full-time. I am in a long-distance relationship of a couple of years now that forces me to travel, you know, a pretty fair bit. Um, and then I run both a Twitch stream and a YouTube channel on top of all of that. So it gets a little bit tight on time for me to make a lot of content like I used to, especially during the Titanfall 2 era when I was not working full time and I was not in a long distance relationship and I could dedicate a lot more to YouTube and to Twitch as well. Um, outside of that though, it's just for many years I've been doing content that is educational guide style content, which has kind of been like my my catchphrase that I use whenever, say like if I get a host or a raid on Twitch or something, and a bunch of people are pouring in that have no idea who I am, that's kind of like my my quick and dirty introduction is like my name is Frothy, I do educational guide style content on fast paced shooter games like Titanfall, Quake, Apex, um, Hyperscape, Radical Heights, uh, Lawbreakers, you know, wh whatever I rattle off, like Anything that's like really fast paced movement style, 3D shooter kind of stuff, like that that's the niche, right? Uh, and, and I try to always say that. And making videos in these style of games, while it's been very fulfilling me, for me for many years, has lately not been very fulfilling for me at all. Reason being is that I can only tell you so many times that R101 does 25 points of damage and R301 or R201 does 50 points of damage, not because it's more strong, but because pilots have double the health on Titanfall 2 than they did in Titanfall 1. And then the R301 does 15 points of damage, or however many it does. I don't even know how many points of damage it does. Um, and like, and and you, if you point the gun at the guy and you click on them, you're gonna do damage. And if you do click on them just right and you do the damage just right, they're gonna die. Like I, I can only say that for so many weapons for so many games for so many years right like it gets it gets a, to a point where it's just it's uh, uh, you know i i can only do it so so much before it is just me repeating myself over and over and over and i can't actually like be fulfilled in helping people with that anymore there gets to a point where it's like do you really need to know all of these, like, little tiny, like, minuscule stats about everything when you could just click on the guy and just win the game? Like, just aim forehead. Like, I know it's a meme, and, like, it's a lot more complicated than that, but it's, like, I, I just... It's getting to a point where, where, where I am driving myself crazy 
doing these kinds of videos over and over and over, right? So there's a reason why, like, I haven't done a weapon guide in quite a long time, because I just don't feel that they're, um, that they're super, like, helpful and useful to people anymore. Because, I mean, I think, like, people are, are, are smart, right? Like, they can, they can figure this stuff out for themselves. So that kind of puts me in a weird, in a weird spot where if I don't feel inspired to make a guide to teach a person a particular thing, um... Hold on a second. I need to, uh... Hey, Kid Titanfall, I'm I'm really sorry about what happened with your friend, man. But with the way that you're talking in chat, I am, I am kind of feeling like maybe you are just looking for me to say your name. Or you're looking more for attention rather than having an actual discussion with me here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and give you a little time out here. Just, just take a second. Um, Kid Titanfall says, hey, Frothy, one more Titanfall 2 stream. Um, so this is a separate topic I was going to maybe talk about later, but we're just going to go ahead and interrupt ourselves and our flow, and we're going to talk about it right now. Um, I did a series on Titanfall 2 recently, uh, on YouTube, where I did, I think, about 10 videos where we talked about and played Titanfall 2. And we try to do, like, make it like a let's play Titanfall 2 kind of thing, where we just try to have fun playing the game. Um, and quite frankly, I, I just did not have very much fun playing the game during those videos. And it was very forced throughout the entire... Um, yes, Titanfall Tuesday chat, yes. And it was very forced throughout the entire series of videos. So because of that, um, like, I got a lot of negative comments. People did not enjoy the series. I didn't enjoy myself playing the game or making the series. So it will not be making a return. Um, if I do choose to play Titanfall 2, it will be privately, and it will not be a public thing that I post on YouTube or Twitch, most likely. Never say never, but it's unlikely at this point in time that I will ever post uh, another, like, Titanfall video or Titanfall stream ever again, unless there are either A, extenuating circumstances, or B, I'm just really, really in the mood for it on that day. So, just, I just want to make that very patently clear, like... I have made literally hundreds of Titanfall videos. I've done hundreds of hours of Titanfall streaming. Um, I have talked about the game on message boards, educated about the game, had discussions about the game like for for literally years. I have I have had my fill of Titanfall. I still love the game, but I am I I am I have moved on, and I just kind of was really hoping that uh, everyone else could move on from that as well. Um, second time Ghost says, Frothy, months and months ago you said you burned bridges at respawn slash devs when I was lamenting about Titanfall 3. Maybe I'm not remembering right. So, yeah, we did mention that briefly. Um, the context of that was that we did a video called Project Nessie, where we talked about, um, we, we, we talked about basically what Titanfall 3 would need to have in order to make it a proper competitive game. Um, and not like a super terribly imbalanced um, kind of a mess, which was frankly what a lot of us truly thought about the game. While we didn't say that publicly too often, because we didn't want to like be ruder or or like, you know, just, just mean to the devs. And like, we didn't want to say like, hey, your game is, is bad or anything like that. But like, we just didn't feel that the competitive integrity was there. Um, and we thought that, like, basically, what we were feeling with the game, having played it so much, um, could really help the developers in maybe choosing some different courses of action to take in a Titanfall 3, if it were to ever happen, to make it, uh, to, to give it more competitive integrity. And if there was more competitive integrity, then the game might stay alive longer and garner a larger player base um, that sticks with it for a longer period of time. Um, that being said, um, we received a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of hatred uh, from the Titanfall community at large for making this video. Um, a lot of developers from Respawn on, like, Twitter and wherever um, stopped interacting with me. They stopped responding to emails from me. They stopped following me on Twitter. Um, basically just kind of pretended I just don't exist anymore and, you know, just completely just do not interact with me whatsoever. Um, so, basically, yes. Uh, in... in my perspective, yes, there were some some bridges that were burned at that point in time, yes. Um, but I will say my relationship with Respawn as a whole, as a company, is just fine. It's absolutely fine. Like, we work together, we collaborate, 
um, EA specifically sponsors me to um, to do a lot of content for them, which is kind of the original direction of where this video slash stream just chatting, whatever the heck you want to call it, came from. Um, so, like, it's, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it's whatever, man. Like, the relationship is just fine. I respect the dev and everyone else there they make great stuff i love their games and we still play them and content about them like there's 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 nothing to be sad or upset about but that video is long gone um that video has been privated for many years and i literally just actually deleted it yesterday i completely fully deleted it forever yesterday um so it's gone and it's fine it's it's like look like we were young kids and like our perspective on the game was admittedly very limited it was very limited in that sense so I can totally understand where we went wrong and what we said in a lot of ways. And we were not as respectful or as well-intentioned as we could have been. But we're kids, you know? We still are, but we were even more so then. So it's all water under the bridge. I, however, no ill will towards anyone from Respawn whatsoever. Just want to make that perfectly, completely clear. And, like, that's just a thing that I wasn't even intending for this to be about or even talk about today, but... You know, the Titanfall comments always come, so I, I think it's good that we kind of get that. Um, we, we, I think we kind of, it's good that we get that out and just kind of have that um, in the video dollar, as well. Dollar, get dollar. Oh, hello. Just wanted to say while there's a break in the recording, I really like all of your content. And thank you. You're very you welcome. You really helped my gameplay and create awesome stuff, man. Thank you, Bayo Networks. I appreciate you, man. That is a very large donation, and that is very kind of you to say. Um, Really, I, I am not here for the money on both YouTube or Twitch. Um, I do have a full-time job, which pays my bills just fine. And this is all just an extra special thing. If you really feel that you want to send that money over, thank you so much. Um, but please feel free. If you want me to, to shoot that back to you, like, please just don't hesitate to reach out. And I can absolutely refund that. This is not what this is about. Um, and we actually have the man himself, uh, Mr. DK05 in here saying, I might've made some assumptions on that with the video. Yeah, like, cause again, like, let, let me let me just like put it as, as frankly as possible. Um, you know, I'm not friends with a lot of the developers at Respawn. You know, like, like there's a couple people that I talk to occasionally here and there in DMs, but like, that's about it. So I don't wanna put them in an awkward position about any of this whatsoever. And again, this is a very a many years old thing, which I did not mentally prepare myself to talk about whatsoever today. So I just wanna make that abundantly clear, like that, like this this whole Project Nancy thing was not the focus of tonight at all. If we really wanna talk about that, we can do that another time, but I don't think there's a whole lot left to say. Um, Be Gone says, thing, I don't, uh, the thing I don't get why it needs to be a competitive esports style thing, it doesn't. It doesn't need to be that. It really doesn't. And in the past few years, I've come, uh, I've kind of grown and become of the opinion that, you know, Titanfall really never should have been that. If there was ever going to be a Titanfall 3, it probably should have been even more casual than a Titanfall 2. They should have really, like, tripled down on the direction they went. And the game may have been better for that. But again, Armchair Developer, I just, I, I should just shut up and not even talk about that, you know? Uh, Drew says, never heard any for the hate, no bridges burned. Good. Happy to hear it, man. Best of luck with Gravity Well, and uh, I look forward to seeing what you guys uh, inevitably end up with. And I would absolutely love to, you know, help you guys out, work with you in any way, shape, or form. Whether that be an influencer role or anything else, like DMs, emails are always open. You know how to get a hold of me. Um, and also, if you ever want to get some uh, get some Quaker Diabotical duels in, I'm also down for that as well. Um, hope the kids and family and everyone are going well. Anyways, um, so back to the original point that we were talking about many, many moons ago at this point. Uh, Titanfall, not Titanfall, <laughs> Apex content on, uh, on Twitch and YouTube. So again, like guides, educational stuff. I can only tell you damage numbers for guns so many times. I can only say if you press Q on Revenant, you silence the guy. Make sure you silence him. You better do it. You press that Q. You know, like, like I, <sighs> there's only so many ways that, that I can manufacture information about a character to help you play that I just, I, you know, it's gotten to the point where it is no longer fulfilling for me. I don't feel that it's really helping a lot of people. So I need to figure out a new a new avenue of content to create that actually excites me. And, and, and quite frankly, lately, a lot of it hasn't. A lot of it hasn't. I, I, I've been enjoying 
just turning my brain off, turning the stream on, and holding W on people in public lobbies with Lunacy and whoever our third might be, and just, just clicking on people and trolling each other and just being stupid and like, it's it, like we're just there to do the thing that video games are for, which is have fun, right? You know, there, there's not a whole lot of like educating that I feel that I can do. Um, and the stuff that I feel like I do want to talk about and perhaps, you know, transition the channel to, to like educate people about, I think are things that would very much be contentious among uh, a viewer base at large. And I don't think that I want to get into, you know, like political battles or ideological bat battles or values-based battles with a lot of people, um, you know, on my YouTube side. So like, here's an example. We had a discussion on stream just yesterday um, that I was, that I very much would like to talk about on YouTube and give my opinions on, but I feel like it would just explode in my face and it would really not be worth it. So we were talking yesterday about, and you're going to roll your eyes. We we're talking about aim assist in Apex Legends and just an FPS in general. So the main idea here was that we feel like we being lunacy and i have generally feel that aim assist in shooters has been over tuned um slowly but surely it's just been going up and up and up and up and up over the past few years um and we're not really the biggest fans of that so like well metahuman here's the thing i know you're questioning aim assist and apex that's it and like that's a small thing it is a really small thing that no one should be mad about but I will absolutely tell you that if I made a video about aim assist, whether, you know, even if it was the least inflammatory, most well thought out and least opinionated piece ever, it would still just, it would, it would go horribly. It would be awful. It would just, it would, it would, I, I, I shudder at the thought of the comments is where I'm coming from. So the idea that we were talking about was that we generally felt that aim assist has been creeping up and up and up to a degree that is not healthy for the integrity of like not competitive level like tournament level fps but just in the pub experience because for the past couple of years and this is totally my opinion is that when we play apex when we play against controller players i can see it and i can feel it i can see and feel the difference between a mouse aimer and a joystick aimer and that this is not to disparage controller users i really do not care what input method you use at all but we can feel the difference and it is a legitimate call out when someone says this is a controller squad or the wraith is on a controller or whatever like that is a legitimate call out because it will change the way that i play i i mean the, when someone makes that call out then i know immediately that either I need to push them in a very specific way or I need to run away and make distance and I need to avoid certain range fights with that player. And and there, there's like differences in the way I move, the way I position, the way I think that, that are gonna vary depending on whether or not they are an average keyboard and mouse player, an average controller player, a gamer, like a keyboard and mouse player, like they're just like a god, um, or a gamer controller player. Like th there are there are multiple tiers of players depending on input method, and I'm gonna approach each of them in very different ways depending upon the callouts being made by my team. So like, it's it's just like one of those things where like, if we call out in our streams like, oh, it's a controller squad or it's a controller gamer, it's not to disparage them as players. It's just to say, hey, we need to approach this fight a certain way or else we're gonna get rolled. You know, we need to fight them from a certain range with certain weapons and do things a certain way. And that's a legitimate call out and a legitimate thing. But I, I was basically wanting to make a video and talk to basically the FPS community as a whole about how like, just, just stop being assholes to controller players. Like you really need to stop. It doesn't matter what their input method is. It really, really doesn't. If you have an issue with aim assist, your feedback should be directly pointed at the developers of the games and not at the players that are using the things that are that are part of the game, right? This goes back to that that really contentious scrub mentality thing I did, which I really wish I could have done a better job on. Like looking back on it, I could have done that so much better. But the main idea behind that was like, look, don't hate the player, hate the game. That's been a saying for forever for a reason. Like, don't hate the player, hate the game. If you don't, if there's something that is upsetting you about a play style or a balance issue, 
that is not on the player for doing that thing. I, I mean, and like within reason, right? Like if there is a player who is abusing a bug where they're going outside the map and they're invincible and shooting you inside of the map and you can't fight back, clearly that is an issue. Clearly there's a player going out of their way to abuse something that shouldn't be there, right? And that's, you know, you still blame the developer in that case for, for, for like, you know, and I wouldn't even say blame. You just tell the developer to fix it and ask them to fix it and it will be fixed. But like, you know, you, you just don't want to direct all of your energy toward the person doing the thing because they are just doing what is giving them the best chance of winning and what is a competitive thing, right? So... I mean, I, I'm sure I'm sure you see where I'm going with this, right? It's just don't hate the player, hate the game. Like, if if there is a problem with the game, then you give that feedback to the dev, and hopefully it will be fixed. And if the game will not be fixed in the way that will make you happy, and you cannot adapt to the way that it was fixed, if at all, then it's time for you to move on to another game. Don't be a toxic shithead. Just move on with your life. It is really as easy as it goes, and and that applies to all walks of life, not just um, not just like competitive online video games um so yeah I, I mean i think that's mostly my piece on the thing uh, on everything is just i need to figure out where i want to go next i appreciate suggestions but i will say that the more that suggestions are thrown at me the less and less likely i will be to like care about any of them because like i don't think there's going to be a set of magic words that someone is going to say that is going to inspire me to do a thing um it's more just going to be like i need to figure out for myself what i want to do next and where the direction is going to be um, and quite frankly, what I'm feeling lately is that because my full-time job is treating me well, and EA sponsorship on videos is pay also paying me quite well, um, that I really just want to focus on doing those things. Is like, I'm going to wait for my brief um, every week from my community manager or community rep, whatever his title is. I'm sorry, I don't remember in the spur of the moment. Um, for, hey, like we want, we want you to target this kind of video or hit this kind of messaging um, in, um, in your weekly video or stream and just do this thing for us. And then like, I'll do that, you know, because like they're giving me like a set of criteria, like, Hey, we want you to create a piece of content that hits these things. And it's like, okay, well now I have something like a target to hit and I know what I'm trying to do and I can do that well. And I can present information mostly pretty well. So, you know, like we'll, we'll absolutely keep on doing that because our relationship has been very, very good and they're treating me well, uh, good people all around. So no, no issues there. We'll continue doing that for the foreseeable future as long as EA is generous enough to continue offering me the opportunity. Um, anyways, let's let's respond to a couple of chat comments because I haven't been um, too responsive to you guys for the past little bit here. Um, I'm going to keep the recording going. We'll just put this whole thing on YouTube and, you know, people can get the, 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 the forky steak man, fuzzy bro man um, stream experience on YouTube and see what it's all about and be able to come and watch the stream. So, uh, Pyro asks, is that a Polyphia shirt? Yes, that is a, this is a Polyphia shirt. Yes, sir. It, it, it do be Polyphia, though. This was a limited edition shirt that they put out after, um, I believe they were robbed, uh, while out touring. And, um, basically, like, they lost, like, pretty much all of their revenue from, from touring, from, like, merch sales and stuff. So, they made, they made this shirt, and they... It was a, it's a really cool shirt. It's got designs on both arms and a big design on the back as well. Um, I sold it for like some exorbitant price, but I was like, yes, I'm buying that because it's a dope shirt. It's limited edition. I like the band. I've never given them money before anyways. And like, you got your shit stolen? Have some money. Have have some money back. You deserve it. That sucks. You know, Tim Henson is awesome on guitar. He is. Tim Henson is great on a guitar. Although I was laughing really hard there was um, a set of streams lately where he was streaming with Herman Lee um, and Tosin Abasi. And he is just, he's just such a pothead, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, he is like, he is like one of like the least well-spoken, just like, like utterly like pothead kids I've ever listened to in my life. And it was hilarious. It was absolutely hysterical. And like, it's like not, not a hit on him. It's just like, look, everyone's different. And like, I could listen to him talk about anything because he would just like say like three words. And I just think of him being like, whoa, <laughs> like, like some, like, like some, I don't know, just, just some stereotypical pothead kind of thing. This is, this is funny to me. Um, the can opener asked to be taking a look at due process. Um, I have taken a look at it. I'm not super interested. 
Um, but I will, uh, I will keep following the development process and um, we'll kind of see how that game turns out and maybe we'll give it a try someday. Um, MetaHuman says, Scrub Mentality video was the best gaming video I have watched, probably in my top five gaming instruction videos. Thank you for that, man. Uh, I do appreciate that. Like, I do think the messaging there was really good. I think maybe the... Well, let me rephrase. Um, I think that the intention behind it and the idea behind it was sound. The execution could have been better, but I think any creative is always going to look back on their old work and say, man, I could have done that better. I think that's always going to be a thing that is said. So, you know, maybe at some point we can go back and do another take at it. Maybe, but... I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards no, but it's totally a thing that we could do at some point. There is totally a thing that we could do at some point. Real Bill and Ted vibes. I, he, dude, he made Bill and Ted look like geniuses. <laughs> uh, bug snacks when? You know what? I really should try bug snacks only because... And, and I wasn't actually planning on doing it. I was memeing about it for a long time, but I was not actually planning on playing it. But I saw a seagull streaming it, and he made a tweet saying, no joke, no troll. I really do think that Bug Snacks could be my game of the year for 2020. And uh, that's, that's like, okay. Like, if if seagull of all people, who like I, I feel like is not the audience for this kind of game, is saying, like, this game was dope, Maybe I should really give it a try. If I don't, then I think Maggie might, and I'll I'll, I'll probably end up watching Maggie play it um, at some point. I don't know, but either I'll get it and play it, and Maggie will watch me, or Maggie will get it and play it, and I'll watch her. But I do definitely intend on at some point going through Bug Snacks. I don't know when, but at some point. Seagull is weird. I know Seagull. He's great, dude. He's awesome. Um. Uh, Beagle on says, did I misinterpret or was the message of Scrub Mentality to put simply stop complaining at good and get good? That was part of it. That was part of it. Basically, if your intention is to be good, if your intention is to be good, then yes, stop complaining and get good and do what you can to better yourself and find every opportunity you can to better yourself. And that's going to be, that's it. Um... But if that's not your intention, and if your intention really is to just have fun and have a good time, then your focus needs to be on, on, on doing just that. Play the way that you want to play, and don't let other people tell you that you're wrong because you're not. If you really, really want to use the, 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 the double take in Titanfall 2 because you love the double take and that is, um, and that is what you're all about, then do it. If you love Cloak, you use Cloak. Don't let anyone tell you that you're wrong for doing that. If your goal is having fun and not being the best player. If your goal is to be a good player and your goal is to be like top of the leaderboards every single game, then maybe you should switch off the double take and maybe you should use something else. That's not to say that you, you can't be an impressive, um, you know, shining diamond in the rough and, and top frag with double take or top frag with only your melee or whatever every single game. Because you totally could. But, like, if you're the average to slightly below or slightly above average player who wants to learn to dominate pub lobbies and be a pub stomper, maybe you should be using the car, SMG, and Ion all game, every game. Like, that, that's what it was about, was, like, you need to understand, like, what is your intention with playing video games? What, like, what, what is it, what is the reason that you're playing? Why are you doing that? Right? And then you can evaluate, like, your play style and adjust from there. But ultimately, you just need to not be a dick. Like, that is, that is the perfect life advice that applies to literally everything. It's just don't be a dick. It's so simple. Like, it's so easy to just not be an asshole to people, but people choose to instead be assholes to people. Myself included. I'm not perfect. I do it all the time. I will I will be a dick to people on Twitter all day. It's, it's, a, it's a bad habit that I oftentimes try to break, and I oftentimes will type something terrible, and then, like, that helps me just get it out of my system. And then you know what I do? I select all, delete, and then it's gone forever. I don't post it and don't share it. I get that anger out of my system and then it's gone. You know, like just, just try to not have your heated gamer moments. That's it. Um, Wildstyle highlighted a comment for me earlier that she really wanted me to um, uh, respond to, which uh, was made by President17, who says, 
Did you ever feel like you wanted to make compilation style videos? I know lots of creators do that kind of thing. So I, I, I'm assuming that by that question, you mean stream highlights and things like that, which is entirely, um, entirely fair. That is something that I've gotten a lot of requests for. Um, basically, I am, in, in my personal opinion, not the most entertaining individual out there. Like people come to watch me not for my hijinks or my my big overblown reactions to stuff, right? That's not what they're here for. So like, like here's a great example. Watch me play Apex on stream. When things are getting really hairy and when it's a really like tense moment, I like I am I am cool as a cucumber the whole way through. I am just calming. Like I am very focused on what I'm doing and like th there is no big, huge reaction when I win. Like I hit the sick shot, I, I win the game on one HP, uh, you know, whatever the case may be, the game is over and it's done. And my face is still, so like it's, it, it's, it's tough for me to have um, something that I feel is truly entertaining enough for like a compilation style video. Now that being said, I have been work. Oh God, my screens just went away. Uh, hopefully my audio didn't stop. No, it looks like it's fine. Okay. So what I, what I will do is, is lately I've been recording a lot of uh, clips from stream, like with the face cam and all my audio in it, which I normally turn all that off. Um, and basically if I get enough like decent stuff, I'm going to try like one compilation stream highlights, whatever you want to call it kind of video. I don't know when that'll be published, if it's going to be in the next week or the next month, but I am trying my best um, to catalog a decent number of clips like that so I can go through and try to pick some stuff out. Um, we'll kind of see where that goes. Um, if I feel like I can make it entertaining enough, I'll publish it. If I work on it for a couple of weeks and I just decide that, you know what, this is this is not gonna be very good. This is not gonna be entertaining for people. It's just boring because I am kind of a boring streamer, then I won't post it, you know? That's what editing is for. I mean, yes and no. Like, uh, it, it, it would be reasonable for me to maybe outsource projects like this to other people where they can try to inject some fun and inject some levity into these situations. But I'm just, I, I'm not convinced that even a really good editor would be able to actually like make something of it, right? You know, like you just, like, there's a reason that big streamers and big YouTubers who do like, you know, content of themselves where it's not their gameplay that's the content, it's them that's the, complaint, the com uh, content. There's a reason that they're that they're so popular, and it's because they're really good at, at putting on the face, at putting on the act, and doing that. And that's just that's just not what I value as a creator. I don't. So like, it because it's not like big and boisterous. I don't know if the market would really be there for viewership on a stream highlights video that is a little bit more uh, tame in that way, but. It's, it's also tough for me because if it's going to be more tame like that and the focus is going to be on the gameplay, then I'd better have an Apex Predator logo in the top right corner of my screen. Or else are people really going to want to watch? Like if they see a gold logo, like, eh? You know, there's a reason that I don't ever put ranked content in my, my YouTube videos because I don't want people to see that rank logo being anything less than Apex Predator. I don't want them to see anything less than Predator. Because if they do, then that is a, a, a way for them to immediately discredit me at everything I'm saying. And it's just like, well, then then am I worrying too much? Or is that a reasonable worry to have? So, you know. Uh, Nickleton says, I wouldn't discount your own personality for entertainment value, though. Just because you're not a kid on Christmas doesn't mean that you're boring. I mean, that may be true. I mean, that, that could be why we have 60 people watching now. We had 70 uh, not too long ago as well. So like, it's entirely, um, it's entirely possible that you're, that you're right. And because I'm not doing this as a job or for the income, there is a good argument that I shouldn't care about how many people watch it, right? Because that is a direct correlation to how much money I would eventually make from that game. 
So like if I just, you know, just put it out and it gets a thousand views, hopefully that's like 10 people, 50 people, 100 people who actually liked that content and enjoyed it. And I've made that many people's lives better or more entertained for at least a few minutes. And like that in and of itself is valuable. So, you know, I, I think ultimately I will try to, um, I think eventually I will try to put out, you know, a compilation or stream highlights video like that. Um, it's just going to be a matter of when I feel like I have good enough stuff. Uh, let me get some water here. I've been talking a lot. I just want to have a little drink. Shoddy says, I was kind of curious about something. As an extension of the scrub mentality video brought earlier uh, on by pointers for evaluating the learning process of getting better in a general scope, uh, that a thought or no? So basically you're asking um, if I could give pointers or guides on just like the learning process itself, like a, like a kind of a meta guide on like, how do you learn better? Um, how do you get better? just in general. And I think that's a valid thing. I'm, I'll go ahead and write that down um, just so I have it. Notepad. So you are looking basically for like, okay, so just like, just general like game theory or how to get good in a general sense sort of videos. I think that could be good. So like, yeah, that's something that I could definitely brainstorm and we'll see if I can make something of that. If I, if I'm, I'm writing that down, I actually already did write that down. And uh, if I feel like I have something useful to say on that after some, some time to think about it and uh, sample some script writing, um, then that's the thing we can do. Totally. 100%. Uh, Uh, MetaHuman says the stuff where you get super nerdy and bring in all the math and show us actually how to get good in terms of the actual stats and numbers. Well, like that's kind of the thing that I've been trying to get away from because I found out, um, I, I have found out more and more lately that I just, I, I just care about that stuff less and less and less. It's very rare that a small tweak in little tiny numbers like that is going to significantly change balance. Um, and, like, there's many other things you can focus on from a development standpoint to, you know, balance things. Um, that I, I don't know if, like, going into that into that level of detail is really helpful for a lot of people. Um, MetaHuman also says, like, a video on how to hold your mouse and mousepad material. Um, I'm not super educated on mousepad materials. Um, but I will say there's a lot of videos already out there about mouse grip styles, aiming styles... Um, someone else said about aim training. There's plenty of videos on aim training out there as well. Um, I'm, I'm not the kind of person to engage with a lot of that stuff already. So I feel like if I were to do a bunch of research and do videos on that, I would just be going out of my way to do work, to make a video for the sake of making a video and not because I personally have some kind of passion for wanting to do it. So I would say no to those things. I don't think that that's something I'm interested in targeting because that content already exists from people who are much better read on those topics than I am. I appreciate the thought, and I, I, I'm, I'm flattered that you you want to hear my take on it, but I, I'm going to be honest with you and say I don't think I have anything better to say than what is probably already out there. Take a look at videos by a YouTuber by the name as Rocket Jump Ninja. That will be a great start um, at getting you uh, some suggestions for, for, for mouse, uh, mouse grip style, mouse aim style, mouse selection, mouse pad selection mouse pad uh, surface type, whether it's glass, cloth, uh, some other kind of material. Um, Rocket Jump Ninja on YouTube is definitely going to be your number one one-stop shop for all of that stuff. And I strongly recommend you check him out uh, because he will get you set up in a way better fashion than I care to, um, to attempt to compete with. Uh, yeah, Be Gone kind of hits on a thing that I kind of mentioned just a moment ago. Even if it has been done, it hasn't been done by you, so food for thought. Yeah, that's totally reasonable. Like, again, like, I, I, I'm I'm flattered that that's a thing that people would want to listen to me about, right? It, it's like, even if there's other takes about it, they still want to hear what I have to say about it. And that's very, very reasonable. Like, because if I go on YouTube and there's a couple of creators who I very much enjoy, um, who 
I don't care if it's a topic that I've heard about five times already. I want to hear what they think about it because I think that they might offer me something new. And even if they don't, it's still just, it's just, just brain candy, you know, just to listen to and just, just, just let's hear them talk about it. Like a per, just, it's, it's nice to listen to a person that you like talk about a thing that you also like. Whether you gain something from it or not is irrelevant. It's just entertainment at that point. So that's a fair point. Um, and that's something that I will try to drill into my, um, my stupid gamer brain in the future, um, to potentially do like you know, some more videos or content in that same vein. Where just because it's been done before doesn't mean I can't do it. That That's that's not the best take. Uh, MetaHuman, I know you asked a few times and I haven't gotten back to this. I'm sorry. I know you've asked like four times now, so let me absolutely cover this for you now. Uh, MetaHuman asks, um, am I still playing Warframe these days? Not as much. So my experience with Warframe or the way that I interact with Warframe is basically I will play it very hard for one to three months out of a year. And then I will put it down for like nine months to like a, a year and a half, somewhere in that ballpark. And then I'll pick it back up so I can experience all that content all at once and enjoy all of it and have that long burn of just like, wow, every day I log in, there's something new for me to do, something new for me to chase, or at least new to me. Maybe not new to the community, but it's new to me. So basically what I've been doing is... Um, I've been, I've been like pretty much at the bottom of my Warframe um, stint for the year. So I'm only logging in once per day. I'm like doing a Kuva flood. I'm, uh, I'm usually doing one or two Kuva floods a day. I might do a short arbitration if it's like a Grenier defense or infested defense or something very easy like that. I'll just go and I'll AFK the defense for 20 minutes and leave. Um, get a couple of Vitus Essence so I can have some Kuva uh, outside of just Kuva floods. Um, and then I'll do my uh, my Ayatan hunts so I can just have a nice stock of endo ready for when I do come back. I can have like 200,000 endo just waiting for me. So for all the cool mods that are coming out, just max, 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 max. Like just have the cool shit right from the get go and just go, you know. So that's kind of where I'm at right now is I'm just doing the slow burn where I'm just doing preparatory stuff a little bit here and there to make sure that when I do come back in full, I am very well equipped to enjoy the game the way I want to enjoy it, and I'm not stuck on the lame stuff that I don't care about. Modus is flipping the question back on his self-reflection. What do you, uh, where do your interests sit in general, game and otherwise? Might help the idea peanut gallery generate more meaningful stuff. Thank you, Modus. That, yeah, that, that's, that's a good suggestion. Um, Lately, my interests, I, I, I don't really know, to be honest. Like, I, I, I don't have a good direction for what I want to do on a given day uh, most of the time. Because I've just been so laser focused on work, which is only getting busier and busier thanks to uh, wave three of COVID hitting. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm very, like, laser focused on that. Um... But outside of, like, job, you know, I, I do want to continue streaming a good number of days per week to keep the ball rolling with stream. Because streaming is very, uh, streaming is very momentum-based in general. So, you know, like, I, I want to keep that rolling. I really want to make more YouTube content. I want to publish way more frequently than I'm doing. But there there is nothing that is super inspiring to me to make so i'm just i know better than to force things so i'm just not forcing it um zim thank you for the raid hello thank you so much man i appreciate you hope your stream went well thank you thank you um anyways so in terms of like outside of you know content and real work other interests i mean I, I I need to figure that out. I, I need like a hobby. <laughs> you know, I, I've been doing a lot of lift. Well, not a lot. I've been keeping steady um, with lifting at least. Like I, I have um, I have a squat rack, a couple bars, a good number of weights uh, in my garage. So I've been trying to keep up with that, but I'm not doing a very good job only because it is too easy in the sense that because I don't have to go to the gym and I can do it at home. Uh... It's, it's too easy to pick up and then put right back down and get distracted by, you know, by laundry or dishes or something like that. So, 
you know, it, it, it's it's too easy for me to get distracted from it and not focus on it. And then secondly, with it being in my garage, it do be getting cold, though. It do be getting cold, though. So I'm going to need to maybe get a heater for the garage or something. But, okay, I'm getting off topic. Like, Modus was initially asking, you know, where my interests sit right now. And, again, that is something that I need to figure out for myself. And I don't think that suggestions from chat or from YouTube comments would really terribly help with that all too much. So, uh, you know. That's something that I need to figure out for myself. How about Blast from the Past games? Meh. Nah. I don't know. I found that most games I like from the past just really don't age well, and I just generally don't enjoy my time going back to them. Like, I've had the experience. It was great. Let me just have the rose-tinted glasses and enjoy it without actually going back to it. Um, route your PC to the garage to act as a space heater. You know, I, I, I do have a portable air conditioner that is running right now because I am just running really warm today. Um, and it does have a heater function, so I am thinking of bringing that down into the garage and uh, setting that up as a heater, so I can, you know, keep that, uh, I can, I can keep that running in my garage and keep me comfortable while I, like, work out and stuff. That would be really good. Um, uh, but anyways, everyone, at least in terms of the YouTube audience, I think this mostly covers, um, everything that I wanted to talk about. I don't want to let this recording go on forever, at least for the YouTube side, but we will just keep hanging out and chatting for Twitch. So if you liked hearing this and you want to just come and hang out uh, from the YouTube side and come check out a Twitch stream if you've never done it before, uh, twitch.tv slash frothyomen. You can find the links in the description box below. Um, I stream usually weekdays from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern, give or take. But again, I am an adult with an adult life and a full-time job, so sometimes streams just don't happen, or they happen a little later than that. So, you know, just it's a it's a very flexible thing. So I hope to see you around there. Thank you for listening for uh like almost 50 minutes. And uh for our YouTube YouTube people, I will see you again very soon. Y'all take care.